Oh guys, welcome back work again with an order video here today with you. It's your boy Style on One, as you always know it. Uh, today also we have this a video. I'm going to show you people. Uh, it's a female automotive mechanic from the Gambia who goes by the name Ida Fall. Ida Fall. Is a mechanic lady in the Gambia who has dreams, who have studied in school with other degrees, but he pack all those certificate and go. Uh, she pack all those certificate and go in for mechanic. It will be a surprise to many people seeing someone go through all the years of studies just to become something else and drop all those ones and go in for mechanic but it's very important today she is enjoying she is enjoying her work very well a female mechanic is part of empowering women in our societies giving them courage this is what we call uh, self-belief because that lady believed herself so much that she entered in something that many men and women will be surprised that, no, why would she go for this kind of job? This job is not for ladies. Take a watch. And here she have to say. Like I can see, like my mom was my biggest obstacle. Because I didn't blame her, it's because the way society view a female mechanic or even view any lady in the male dominated field, because you know, society, religion kind of suppress us, telling us that a woman should not do this, or rather, a woman place is just in the kitchen, in the house, or at a desk, a nice office. And uh, so, my mom would say that I won't be a mechanic, she will even be crying, telling me that. So after paying your school fees, after suffering, then you're paying me by being a fitter. You're telling me that that is not happening in my house, but my mom will tell me that no. I will even come, she will be telling me that, oh, you are smelling, don't come near me. Or, oh, everybody is saying that Yo, you are a mechanic, you are a fitter, look at the way you draw, at least dress like a girl. Sometimes my mom will even tell boys that, will you guys check her for me, whether she's a man or a woman. Through all those odds, I, I strive, and I remember the first time I went in SOS to pick up a form. <laughs> a teacher just looked at me and told me that I'm going to waste my time being a mechanic because I sure I'm, I'm so beautiful. My hands are so small and filthy. He he thinks I should go and look for another career. And right now, he's my best friend. At first it was rough. At first I, 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 first time I told my best friend, Georgia, that I want to be a mechanic. She laughed, like all of them, my cousins, they laughed. So most of them were telling me that I don't, most of my cousins will tell me that I don't know what I want. I will venture into this today and tomorrow I'll venture into something else. Some will say that, okay, you're doing it, but you won't last long there. Because you know you, this is not you. You won't be successful in there. So I have many things going on. So, but. I, I'm just determined. I'm, I'm, I'm a kind of person that if you tell me you're going to do this, I achieve by anything, I will just rather go for it and I will do it. So they will mock me, obviously. They will tell me that I don't do makeup, I don't look nice anymore, I'm getting black, I'm getting dark. You know, I don't look like a girl anymore. But despite everything, I love what I'm doing and I believe in it. Yeah, you know, 
this is the nicest part about being a mechanic because you earn every day. You earn every day. You don't have to wait until end of month to earn. The earning comes like every time. So even when I was going to school, if I know that I won't have a lunch at home, when my mom is kind of mad at me, from school I will run to the garage because I will know garage. If I'm going home, I will not go nothing less than $300 or $200 or $200. If you are a lady and you have a passion for car, come on, get into it, do it. There are many things you can work with. There is an airbag system, there is a, you know, the electronic system. There is a of system in the cars that you can figure out. Even the architectural system, people who design this car, they are auto mechanic engineering architectures. They only design cars, design tires. All of those things are fields that people can do in the auto industry. What I told you, this is the only reason today in Africa, many of us, uh, us are not achieving our dreams, most especially our young girls. Because there are some works that you know that they only see it as a man work. While the women can do the same kind of work, see either fall, a young lady at her age doing mechanic and get it something out of it your your own parents your own friends family members discouraging you that you will not achieve in this no one can stop the wills of god because anything god has uh, written on your forehead it must happen no one can stop that and you have to get the uh, the uh, ability and courage you should chase your dreams you should chase your dreams as far as you want to be something else in the future this is what this lady have did and she's enjoying many of many people thought that she won't make it and today she is making it so don't be discouraged by people people telling you you can't do this that should give you a uh, strength and the power to force yourself to show them that you can do more than this so my sisters out there don't think that only in the kitchen is for women you can do other work different from in the kitchen alone so go out there and chase your dreams be someone in the future you can't be the same with men yes that's right but you can do some things that some men do too i mean the work so give a deaf ear to people who tell you that you can't do this make them assume that you can do it that's the only thing you will achieve what you want to achieve if you listen to people you can't do this you back up you will never achieve what you want so be strong as an african woman as we always know african women strong and chase your dreams Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos from me. Stay blessed.